it's that time again it's world cyanotype day and this year's theme is rejuvenation i still haven't done it it's thursday and world cyanotype day is saturday the 25th of september and i will be done in time i will there's just no other option i will be done um last year's piece was really important to me because it was like the first time i'd really focused and got whole project off the ground from conception through to digital design the actual cyanotype making done tests dried it photographed it and sent it off and like actually put my work out there in the world with my name in an international not really competition but like let's say forum so last year's interconnected piece which is my o to be rid of you was <laughs> incredibly personal and um important yeah uh, it was like a shift when i made that so this year i possibly overthought it because i wanted that kind of like gravitas the like profound realization that i got last year but maybe i don't need that this year um i got quite distracted when i was going through different ideas me distracted what but um, I've been journaling a lot lately, so I thought about continuing the theme of interconnected with um, like the thoughts of being like bound. Um, also been doing a lot of garden stuff this year, volunteering at husbandry school, which is great, and working in our back garden here at home with my sister and my parents. Um, trying to just get it back from its jungle state and then like bindweed was in my mind a lot and obviously the connotations of bindweed and personifying it to relate to people and relationships I've been struggling with over the last couple of years and the last couple of months specifically you know the people that just keep coming back and don't take a hint um, yes it's pretty but it's suffocating and it's not good for the garden just because it's pretty and it's hard to get rid of doesn't mean you shouldn't get rid of it I think that's another project for another day though rejuvenation I wanted to be entirely selfish because why the fuck not and I wanted to make it all about me and um, yeah me my journey my rejuvenation from like everything i came from masquerading smiles and you know hiding behind a false instagram life like projecting the perfect image but then actually just being really at peace with what i am what i do who i see it's nice um and i want to celebrate that so rejuvenation is all the fuck about me and um yeah i'm just trying to shoot the photos now to then maybe do a sketch or use the photos i'm not sure but obviously i've left it last minute because of me um some things just never change and we shall see um I've just had a nice shower and got my hair all yummy and I'm moisturised and hydrated. I've got a little cheeky glass of wine there, but it's a prop, I promise. Um, yeah, I'm going to shoot some nice pictures. And here's a really dodgy sketch of what it might turn out like. So good, right? So obviously, like, the sad little, little Libby leading on to like really good moments but then you know collapsing again uh and then just being twirly and glowy and happy it's a journey um possible title is between her and now so the she i used to be and the the the, the she what i is now um i don't know why i said that <laughs> um Yes, I have been drinking. And I've got a couple of costume changes. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. So I've got this evening to shoot 
the photos and to do the digital work and then I've got the whole of tomorrow alongside all my other work and social commitments to do the actual cyanotype exposure, processing, washing, drying, photographing and sending off and I want to have it in by Friday night so hopefully I'll be putting this out Saturday morning ready for World Cyanotype Day with a huge fucking grin on my face and it's going to be beautiful. It is. It will be. It already is. And you know, it's all like ups and downs and you're never going to be fully up. You're never really fully down. Um, so it's a bit like, I guess I kind of want to mm, personify. Is it personify? I don't know. I want to like somehow honour the like the rolling hills of Devon and the coast paths and the the ups and the downs and that they're worth it and like yeah I'm in a good place now but it doesn't mean I'm not sad sometimes like this morning I pulled the cards for low self-worth and sadness but by this afternoon the things that I've done I'm feeling pretty happy about everything and and now I'm in a good space to make this project, which is probably what I haven't done in the last few days. Um, I also pulled the sheet, the, the sheets, the, I also pulled the cards to um, change my sheets and go for a walk. Just really basic things that just <laughs> made this happen. Um, so yeah. Little things. And somehow I'm gonna try and put them in the piece somehow and the coast path and me and flowers obviously flowers how could I make a piece without flowers right 